that's okay. Yes, it's perfectly fine. Perfect. Oh, okay. Just hold this on the screen. All right, awesome. So, yep. So let me just say, you know, I'm Christian. I'm the uh, head of business strategy at the New Boston, and uh, you know, once again, thanks for uh, doing this interview, and congratulations for the result. Um, ah, thank you. Yeah. yeah thank yeah, you. Yeah. For, thank you for having me. Actually. Oh, for sure. Uh, huge honor uh, for myself. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it's a uh, you know I know it's difficult uh, you know to do well in these tournaments. Uh, definitely a lot of uh, stiff competition, but uh, you know you know what do they say? The best rise to the top. So here you are. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's just get uh, started here. You know, I just asked some like introductory question and then a little bit more specific questions. But how did you get started in chess? You know, a lot of people. Um, you know, I like to play Fortnite and some of the other those popular video games. Why chess and how'd you get started? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a lot of things, but not a Fortnite guy. <laughs> I've never <laughs> played the, the one game in my life. So actually I've started chess like about, I was four, no, I'm 23, about 19 years ago from now. Oh, okay. Yes, I started at kindergarten and uh, to be honest, it, it was not the the... The most uh, liked thing by me that time, or at least that uh, my my parents and the my past coach said that uh, I used to to hide <laughs> in places in the kindergarten in the kindergarten in order to avoid the chess lessons. <laughs> wow! <laughs> because okay. I, I got uh, beaten by all the dudes. <laughs> yes, and I think the the passion uh, started there. Uh, of course, I, I got better with, with the time and uh, the passion increased, I guess. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, yes, after that, I think I, I joined the club at uh, five or six. I was, yes, I, I think about it. And uh, I started playing, learning and doing uh, chess like a profession since uh, I was 18, 19 when I joined the, the computer science uh, college. Wow. Okay. I'm here in Romania. Yes. Uh, then I had to quit because you know jobs. <laughs> I'm programming. Sure, sure. Life, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then life came in. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. But oh, I, uh, I used to play in my spare time, and I was uh, very, very engaged in this tournament because there were two things. Uh, first, when I was aware of the, the the community and back in the new Boston, and I really liked liked what what was going on there. Mm -hmm. And uh, second of all, I've never played uh, a knockout tournament in my life. Ah, <laughs> because, okay. Yes, in the tournaments, they usually go for the Swiss style, like the Swiss style tournaments when you play with the half-rated opponent and, and so on. So Interesting. So you, the other tournaments that you've been to, they've had a different format, This the, the Swiss uh, tournament yes, format. The Swiss saying, right? uh, for, format, yeah, that's true. Okay. What, how, how does that differ between, you kind of explain a little bit, uh, how does that differ oh, between yes, the yes. stage? Definitely. So uh, basically it's not like something that uh, you, you, you get eliminated after uh, playing with some dude that beats you. So supposing that there are uh, 50 players in a tournament, we're just giving an example one second, something just yeah. popped up. I will close the, that window. <laughs> It shouldn't it shouldn't move <laughs> without my permission yeah so uh, back to, to our example we have about 50 players and they are ranked by a ranking system uh in the professional chess we called it elo e l o it's okay. a rating given to you by the international chess federation and uh, the pay, uh, we, we will have some rounds like uh, usually they have seven or nine rounds of play and if mm. you got beaten, you are uh, you are not eliminated. You keep on playing, and how the the tournament is scheduled. So, for example, in the first round, you are playing. If you are number one, like you you have the the biggest elo, and we have fifty participants, you'll play you'll play against the half plus one, like the number twenty six, based on the uh, elo points. Okay. The second one will play against the twenty seventh. The third one is the twenty eighth, and so on. Got it. And after that, you are playing, someone will win, someone will lose, or you will draw. After that, the tournament divides in like two tournaments, like the, the one with one point, play with the, the other one with the one point, and, and, and so on, based on, on the points being the first criteria. And you'll also I see. have the uh, ELO criteria. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that no are class, usually the, class. but the knockouts are much so how more do you feel? And... <laughs> uh, do you prefer this format? Uh, to be subjective, I I prefer the the knockout format because I've never played it and it's much more interesting. <laughs> but I guess the ah uh, yeah yeah it's bad. <laughs> it's pretty hard. Uh, okay, so uh, what what I was thinking? Why do we play knockout? Is because a lot of players from a lot of time zones are playing. And you just yeah. can, cannot organize a Swiss tournament, a Swiss like tournament in, in a, a lot of time zones. Uh, you can schedule like around that 3 p.m. GMT. Some, mm. uh, some of them will prefer it. Some of them will play like for two in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Some of them will be elsewhere and, and so on. So I guess uh, if you play like a tournament all over the world, uh, you'll have to play a knockout with scheduling. Yep. Yep. Exactly. And there's like, you know, obviously scheduling issues, even this interview issues, you know, got to make sure that uh, we're all working on what everyone's schedule. Um, I guess, you know, with, with, with the knockout stages and in, in, in uh, you know, kind of in contrast to that Swiss format, would you say the element of maybe, maybe luck is more, uh, is bigger? Cause I, you know, I talked, I did the interview earlier with another one of the, uh, another one of the uh, you know, players and, he was telling me that he felt like you know chess, you know as a as a whole was like sixty percent skill, forty percent luck. What what do you say to that? Do you agree with that? Do you say that it's less luck? I mean, how how what, what's your feeling about that statement? Uh, well, it depends. It depends on uh, who is playing. For example, if you're playing against someone who is uh, your the same value as yours. Mm. The, the the luck increases but for example if sure. you're a professional and you're you're playing against a beginner it's about zero <laughs> luck <laughs> a beginner Got would it. never uh, beat a professional but if we are on the same level sure. it, uh, the, it are a lot a lot of uh, external factors that, that came in into the the statement for example the first one that i have in mind is how do you literally feel that day if mm. you're feeling mm better than your opponent you have increased your chance increased right uh, did your girlfriend dump you that day yeah. <laughs> if, if that happened to you yeah. you may have the, your chances to lose increased or a tornado oh, you, you, came in or, your seat or, and, uh... <laughs> 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 yes uh, the second one when two players with uh, maybe the same level would play would be the the preparation and sure. that's something that that happened this tournament when while playing against the the other uh, professional opponent against Cartapia. So uh, if you stick into the, your opponent's preparation or you just fall in, into your opponent's preparation, you'll have uh, higher chances to lose because he played that game yep. <laughs> earlier. <laughs> yes. True. True. Uh, also. Uh, but this is not a matter of luck. So uh, the resilience of uh, of a player may be so. For example, after three hours of play, I may get a lot more tired than you are. I mm. I heard from professional players that said that of K okay, if the uh, it doesn't apply to blitz, uh, but if you are playing like a classical game, it's about uh, yes that player said that if uh, a, a game lasts more than five or six hours. Uh, I'm, I'm out <laughs> i can't do anything it's a matter of luck right exactly, yes, and, exactly. and the luck may enter when of course it, it lasted about five or, or six hours and both opponents are very tired and it's about yep. okay who will give up first gotcha, but gotcha. you can see it as 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 luck or as resilience right yes, right there right, are right. a lot of factors absolutely so going back to kind of like your uh, you know you mentioned resilience so uh one of the things uh, with our, our blockchain that's a little bit more um, specific to ours is the governance model. Uh, you may or may not have heard of it. Essentially, it's like this, uh, it's this way where we make decisions about where the blockchain goes. Um, you know, essentially, we vote on something, we make yes, a decision. The community vote. Exactly, I love that. exactly. I just love the stuff. <laughs> right, and right, right. With more that you're involved in the project, with uh, more coin that you have, uh, like value, you you mm -hmm. have you you prove that you are involved in that project and you care about that stuff. So you are right. much more uh, a better voter than someone who just enter in the community and have yep. a little amount. Yeah, I'm exactly. aware of blockchain. I I had some some side projects. Uh, some of them are going on right now. Uh, yes, it's incredibly <laughs> what's 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 going on actually in that area. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 
Uh, so, you know, so we just, so in terms of making these decisions, right, um, even though everyone votes, not all the decisions are always good, right? You know, sometimes you make decisions that go wrong, sometimes you make decisions that go right. Um, kind of in that uh, same vein of resiliency, uh, you know, let's just say uh, within, you know, let's say you're playing a, a chess match and you make a bad decision. How do you um, kind of mentally kind of uh, rebound from that? You know, how do you recover from something like that? Uh, you know, and is that, uh, you know, obviously player by player, it's different, but uh, would you consider that part of a resiliency? Yes, yes, of course, of course. Now I will say that it is what it is and, and uh, I, you should uh, keep on going and try to uh, like to, to solve everything that uh, is, is remained to, to solve from, from that game. But in practice, it's, it's not like that. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yes, you got, uh, sometimes you got angry, sometimes the emotions like, uh, like uh, catch you. And right. uh, it's, it's not that easy, yes. But uh, uh, me personally, I, I, I try to like to get the, the most of it. So yes, gotcha. if something went wrong, yes, it's unfortunate. Uh, people don't wa- always expect that. I think that's the actual problem because you're having expectations and it's not about chess or blockchain. It's about when, when you're setting the target. Are you, uh, is your target like, human enough it's it's, right. it's a question that uh, uh not not so much people uh, have yeah no absolutely absolutely you know the unexpected is always difficult to handle so yes uh, you know you, you, you always think you know in this situation you got to be you know calm but uh, and you know emotionless but Sometimes it's, it works, it's sometimes so it hard, doesn't. Yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, a good friend of mine, a programmer, I, I've asked him like some, some years ago, dude, how do, do you estimate stuff? And he said that ah, I've talked with a software engineer and at an, an internship and he explained uh, to me how to do it and, and how do you do it properly? And he said something like, okay, you just uh, read the task, you estimate it and you multiply it by pi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> accurate accurate <laughs> yeah all right uh just a couple more questions here uh so uh you know uh how do you so how do you feel oh yeah how did you hear about us when we how did you hear about this tournament uh do, do you do you uh have you done other tournaments before i mean you have in that swiss format um you know uh where did you hear about ours Yes, well, uh, I think it's about communities. So uh, in the when I started programming, mm. I preached uh, Bucky's tutorials from the new Boston. Gotcha. And, and, okay. Uh, yes, and they were so great. <laughs> so I kept on watching them. Uh, Excellent. To be honest, the, the basics like I have from my my stack, the stack that I use day by day, yeah, is from him. And I'm, I'm very, how can I say it? I'm very grateful. Yeah. For, uh, mm. for for this thing and i kept on watching kept on like things and, and watch even things that i don't normally normally use and suddenly it was gone <laughs> and, and and i was thinking well, where the hell is bucky and he, uh. he appeared about about three years, uh, three years and said dude, dude i've made a blockchain <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, in, yeah. The, in the youtube channel I, okay what, what about this project i, I i've watched the videos i uh. Uh, there were some some several things that were very interesting like the the organization how they do stuff i yep. i i've also noticed that they they have some some algorithms in order to to balance the the value so for example yep. in the in the videos that that i saw uh, basically there were some op, open source or not so open source project but basically you you were uh, you will receive the coin only if you contribute to the community and exactly. I think that's one of the most valuable, valuable things that, that you have. You cannot buy the stuff and just dump it after uh, right, uh, 10 right, hours. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, and I, I've noticed that, that things were, were going on a certain direction. I, I saw some projects. I saw that, uh, for example, at the time of the video, the reward was one. And after, a year after, when I watched it, the reward like uh, increased. So, okay. The community is giving value and so the the value increased so i said okay i'm going to follow this project and after that i i saw tmbc games mm. but unfortunately i i don't lo- i don't do league of legends and fortnite <laughs> so i have to yeah. learn chess <laughs> just kidding hey 
we, yes, we, we, made, we made it for you, you know? <laughs> we, we could have done anything, but we did chess instead. So, yeah, it worked out. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, and so, I said that, okay, when I saw, uh, when I saw the Discord community, I, uh, I uh, registered. And now I, I also tell to the guys if I can contribute with something, if I can play <laughs> chess with you, I can help you with development stuff. I'm open to it because I, I like what oh, yeah. you're building. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You've been talking to Daniel? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Then good, like good, uh, yeah. the weird guy, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes. I have talked a lot. He, with, uh, he is a weird, weird guy. guy. So uh, that, that, that all makes sense. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, just last two questions here. Uh, what, uh, what do you think we can do to make the tournament better? I mean, do you have any suggestions for us? Uh, yes, I, I actually have some. So I think one of uh, the biggest one would be to to switch it to chess.com. Liches is much more friendlier, mm -hmm. but uh, it's sometimes not so error proof from certain points. I yes, see. and and I I've talked with uh, with Danny about some things. I knew that uh, like the tournament is like uh, linked with uh, with Liches because of some technical issues. Mm. But uh, maybe with my my programming skills or or something, I I can help uh, to oh, yeah. to make the the migration to chess.com because I think that this is the much uh, uh, important thing that uh, you should do right now with the knockout system. I I have nothing against, so it is very mm. cool. Maybe we can try to do like something more often and uh, say that uh, when do most of the people will have time and and uh, stick to a gmt because i i felt like it it lasted a little bit too much <laughs> got it okay yes. got it so okay. maybe a switch to to a swiss system and and just have the tournament in one day but uh, of course okay. people sh people should agree agree on this one but i i, I would play at 2 a.m <laughs> i have no problem with it. If, if, if the most of most of the people are from america's uh, time zone so that there's yeah. no issue yes but... uh, beside that i think it's it's very cool that uh, you're doing this not such big big comments i'm, I'm very pleased to, to have participated to be honest yeah Oh, yeah, that's great. I mean, these are great good suggestions, and certainly uh, we're always looking for ways to make it better and more exciting, right? Um, and then I guess, I guess in that same kind of uh, realm of, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, improvement, how do you think we get, uh, you know, better players, how, more players like, like yourself, you know, to make it more exciting? Well, I think this is a natural thing, like uh, with the community growing, uh, better players will uh, will uh, will join the community. For example, I've I've saw the YouTube videos, I've registered and I've played and I've told to uh, two uh, good uh, good friends of mine, okay, and uh, that are uh, twenty two hundred and above, and oh, said that okay, okay I, I want to join in the future. So okay. I guess the the word of mouth is the best recommendation and the best way to to evolve things. Excellent. Mm, Excellent. Also, maybe you can we can talk to to some uh, some Twitch guys and or maybe you you can start something like uh, doing Twitch. I don't know about, but uh, if the community will promote it, I think that uh, you can grow uh, like pretty naturally without uh, so much marketing involved, like uh, natural growth. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's you marketing. Know, uh, also, that, I always think it's interesting you say that because uh, we do have something in the works. That's great. If I can help with, with something, I'm I'm looking forward to. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, yeah, that that. Yeah, I can. I think the connections. Let's see, our connections kind of here and there, kind, but uh, kind of, I can I hear see. you for sure. Ah, okay. Let's see. There we go. I think I think the, the from my side, it's, it's, right. uh, it's good. Yeah, oh, no, no, okay. absolutely. No, I, I... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, I mean, I, I, I really like your suggestions. And it's funny because uh, when you mentioned Twitch, that's something that uh, we're very interested in. Uh, and certainly, uh, you know, trying to integrate different ways of uh, doing the tournament. So, uh, you know, maybe we should talk uh, after, uh, you know, this to 
think about different uh, venues of uh, getting this uh, a tournament. So, you know, really appreciate your uh, feedback. Uh, congratulations again for uh, doing so well in this tournament. And, uh, you know, if you have more suggestions or want to be involved, uh, you know, let's talk to Daniel, you know, let's get you involved because I feel like you'd be a great ambassador to, uh, you know, getting more uh, chess tournaments in the future, seeing as how, you know, you're such a personable guy and uh, you have a lot of insight on how to make these things better. Yes, thank you. I'm, I'm uh, a text ahead, a DM text ahead. Also, I can I can give you like my my, my email, my Facebook, and we can yeah. talk because I'm not such a, such a Discord guy, but with all the the stuff going on, I, I start liking it. <laughs> to be honest, nice. okay. So I, I have some some friends that are playing LOL and uh, Dota and <laughs> games like this, okay. and they are also very involved in the Twitch stuff. So I guess it's for their community and when. When I enter, I didn't like it for the moment, but now mm. that I've stayed a little and I've learned how things are placed and how how is the behavior of the platform because it's not like the regular social media platform stuff. Right. Yes, I, I start liking it. Awesome. <laughs> it's very awesome. organized after you you got some uh, know how. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's a little bit of acclimation and just getting used to it, but for sure, a lot of potential there. All right. Yes. Well, thanks yes. a lot, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, let, let's stay in touch and, uh, you know, let's, let, let's see what we can do. All right. <laughs> All right. Have a good evening, man. Appreciate Have a good you evening. taking this evening. Yep. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have right. a nice day. You too.